Personal story segment tonight, the return of Jon Stewart, the host of The Daily Show, has a brand new book called Earth, the Book, A Visitor's Guide to the Human Race, in which he is pictured on the cover next to Stephen Colbert. Kind of a Planet of the Apes thing going on here, I guess. Anyway, Stewart showed up earlier today, and here's what happened. All right, Stewart is back. It's inexplicable, but he's here. Stewart is uh, back. Yeah, you're back what on about, the What about... Hi, John. Great to see you. Nice to see you as well, Bill. What? Well, you want me to be a phony? It hurts my feelings. Okay. Um, Obama remorse. Some people who voted for him, yeah. as you saw Velma Hart the other day, we voted for the hope and the dream. It ain't happening. Do you, John Stewart, have Obama remorse? I think people feel a disappointment in that uh, there was a sense that, oh, Jesus will walk on water, and now you're looking at it like, oh, look at that. He's just, he's just treading water. Like but did you oh, buy his, his did you buy there. the Messiah thing when he was campaigning? Look, I don't buy the Messiah thing with the Messiah thing. But you were a supporter. You, you were a supporter of Obama. Now, do you regret? I th I thought he'd do a better job. I, I was a supporter of McCain as well for a long time till he. But you threw McCain under the bus. For no, me. McCain no, threw no, himself you, under the no, bus. No, you threw him. I saw you. You pushed. I would not push. A man of that you, stature you, you, under you, the bus. Listen. I still love him. That's an un talk about remorse. But you loved Obama more. You pulled the lever for Obama. Are you saying I'm? I'm what are you trying to say? I'm do you regret the I'm vote? Do you regret if you had to go back in a time capsule? Would you vote for McCain? No. No. No, I still would. So you standing for by your man? Well, you wouldn't uh, tell me why not. I, I would not suggest that it's a country love song in the way that you were. But here's here's what I thought. I thought we were in such a place, uh, much like uh, the uh, the Tea Party feels now that the country was in such a place that we needed a more drastic uh, reconstruction of, of policy, perhaps a deconstruction of the powers that be. I thought this may be a chance to do that. I have been saddened to see uh, that someone who ran on the idea that uh, you can't expect to get different results with the same people in the same system has kept in place so much of the same system. But he still people. has been drastic in the sense that he How has is, he been drastic, sir? Because he separates himself from the regular folks. And let me give you two examples, all right? The mosque thing. Mm -hmm. All he had to say was, yeah, they have the right to it, but it's really not a good idea for sensitivities. He wouldn't do it. I Most think that is what he said. No, he didn't say. He, he said they have the right to do it. on the wisdom of it. Wouldn't com and you mocked him for it. Well, I you mocked, mocked people. him, but he wouldn't comment on the wisdom. That and the people are going, come on, you're the leader of the country, you have to come. What people? The, uh, the what? folks, the regular people, <laughs> people who never would watch your show, well, you're people just, who watch me. But you're just not making you. things up. Well, why I'm not making things you? up. When was the last time you even visited Levittown, Bill? I, How long were you going to play this favor? Sunday, I was there. I was there, I was building a, a barbecue for my friend Joey. Uh, brick by brick, yeah. I threw on some sausage and pepper. Uh -huh. And uh, then they came in, you know, we all watched the game, had some gabagool, it was unbelievable. You're deflecting. Uh, what do you want me not to deflect? I'm, I'm telling I'm, you that the president has separated himself from the folks, and that's why he's having so much trouble in the poll. I don't even know what the, I think that sounds like a meaningless thing to say. You're saying folks. What are folks? Working that's, Americans don't understand his thought process. That, that may be very well true, but he didn't separate himself from working Americans. He hasn't done enough to, he ran on the idea that the middle class yeah. was going to be his focus. And it is that. Well, he's trying right now to preserve the tax cuts for them and uh, 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 remove the ones for the people making two hundred fifty thousand. Did you get your health care premiums? Oh, my health care premiums have been crazy for years. Okay, I pay health care. That's premiums a tax for everybody folks. at our show. All right. Velma Hart said it the other day. Velma Hart still supports him and has great hopes for him. Velma Hart feels that the policies that he promised to deliver on has, has not come, has not materialized fast enough. I completely agree with the sentiment that he ran as a visionary and he has led as a functionary. Now let's get on to your Halloween are rally you in Washington, D.C. Are you even listening to me? Do we have to dress up if we go to D.C.? Is it costumes? or what? Why are we going in the beginning? Why are we there? The All folks right. that I see in my gigs that I go out to, right. real Americans, plumbers and such, they tell me that they don't feel represented by the extremities they see on things like Fox News and uh, other things like that. They say the real voice of the people has been muted by the extremists, that the loudest voices are the ones that seem to carry the day. So what I'm hearing is they want to feel a catharsis that they're not alone, that they're also represented. So that's, that's why we're doing it. We're trying to find that, that thin sliver of America between pinhead and patriot. All right, so you, if you we could just find Colbert, that sweet spot, you're, you're gonna, patriots, if you will. You're going to get out there in D.C. Do you have do you have a little permit yet? Did you get your permit? I, have, I, I doubt it. No, I you don't have a permit. You're just going to be there and get arrested? or I, All right. 
So day Maybe. before Halloween, night before Halloween. October 30th, right. uh, 12 to 3. Not, right. at, not, not at night. I'm, this is for people who have jobs and families. You know, who, the, the, the rallying cries, we're here, but we're only here till 3. We have a sitter. So. Okay, good. <laughs> Christine O'Donnell, would you vote for the witch or the Marxist? Oh, uh, who the hell knows? Do you want the Marxist? I know you do. I can see it in your eyes. Yeah, and by the way, that is in no way a pejorative way to describe him. I'm sure he's absolutely a Marxist. <laughs> by the way, can you be bald and a Marxist? Like, I, is that even allowed? I think you can. I think Leno, Leno was bald, uh, was he not? All right. Uh, I, I don't imagine that uh, a state like Delaware, which is a pretty, you know, mild state. You know, First state. Whoever, who's, whoever's better for DuPont, that's who I'm for. Okay. Because as DuPont goes, so goes <laughs> Delaware. So whoever is for coming up with a new synthetic <laughs> that you can spray on your couch, to keep ketchup off it, you know, I'm voting for that person. We uh, here at Fox. But here's the thing, let me say this about Christine O'Donnell. Yeah. The witch thing is ridiculous. The masturbation comments, ridiculous. Let the woman, she's the, one of the least interesting Tea Party candidates I've seen yet. She you know, she will come on the factor. I don't think she's going to go on your program either. But she, she, doesn't, she doesn't respect the folks. I don't know. She I thought she was a factor. I thought she was the phone. A little too. I think the venue might be too tough here. Okay, let's uh, take a uh, break and we'll come back and talk about your big book. Let's do that. Yeah, you know, which, which is competing with my big book. Oh, you have a book out? Yeah. So we'll Good talk luck about with that. that in a moment. <laughs>